Hey everyone, my name is Shagun and today we are going to learn how to add color bombs mode in your hand or in your photograph using Adobe Photoshop. Now before starting, I just want to tell you that make sure to check out my friend Lifted Designs on YouTube and Twitter. He is a graphic designer and if you want a free logo or banner or profile picture for your stuff, then you can hit him and you can ask him to make. All he takes is a shout out in his twitter and youtube link he designed a logo for me and that was pretty awesome so i recommend you to check him out okay so now let's get back to our tutorial okay so here we are in photoshop and i just want to tell you that the stock links are in description you can download them if you want to follow along so in stock there are two things first is the brush tool i mean the there's a brush for the smoke and there's a canister a small canister png file so that you can add it okay so now what we're going to do is go to file open and now we are just going to import okay so i have imported this now what i'm going to do is select the rectangular marker tool and then simply drag it over like this one we only need one canister just do like this once you have done this what you have to do is press ctrl plus j to to you know get your selected layer differently now we have this now what we are going to do is let us delete this layer okay now we have our one canister now press this eraser tool and choose magic eraser tool and then just do it in on this white background okay so we have removed that white background now use the move tool and just drag it over okay so now you can see we have to resize it so I'm going to press Ctrl plus T and now we are just going to drag it. Make it small as much as you can because it should look real. Add in the end. Okay, so here you can see I have placed canister. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this mask icon, clip mask icon, choose the brush tool make sure it is set to black to white and then I'm just going to make it a little small and then just drag it to make it look real and I'm going to also resize it a little bit you can do it to your taste I personally feel to adjust it a little bit so I'm going to adjust it as my taste okay so as you can see that I have successfully placed the canister now what I'm going to do is press the brush tool and now we are going to create a new layer now just go to brushes and just import your import the brush which I have given the link to download if you don't know how to import then click on this icon and then click on load brushes and then just simply click on load and you will have the brush I have already done so what I'm going to do is go to downside and now I'm going to choose a brush the number is 2376 if, if you are wondering and now I'm going to resize it a little bit okay and now just over the canister I'm going to place it okay so here you can see we have our smoke but I don't want this color so what I'm going to do is just press ctrl plus z and now i'm going to choose my color i'm going to choose pink and now we're just going to have it just over this and you can see we have a smoke now what i'm going to do is go to camera raw filter making a little bit more adjustment in this i'm going to increase its exposure a little bit probably 0 0.30 increase the whites a little bit and now decreasing the white okay now we are going to go to um, camera calibration now I'm going to adjust the red primary a little bit towards the negative side since it is pink color and try to adjust a blue also a little bit to make it darker also increase the saturation of blue and red both and click on ok 
So you can see I have a little bit, you know, more realistic smoke. Now what I'm going to do is go to this and then just adjust the angle and just simply do it, create a new layer and then simply do it like this. But we don't want this one, so I'm going to do eraser tool and then erase this part. Okay. I'm going to erase the part which I really don't want. Okay. Now, what you can do is again duplicate this layer, then press the move tool and have it some other places like this. Now, press the eraser tool and just erase it. Okay, so now to make it more realistic, what we are going to do is clip mask this first layer and then use the brush tool choose the normal brush and we are just going to drag it a little bit okay and now this is looking all right now other thing what you can do is go to brush tool and then choose this one 2013 make sure to create a new layer make it small because you know smoke have some little dots also and then have it like this so you can see that it is looking really nice and for this purpose I'm just going to leave it like this you can also adjust the camera raw filter of other layers to make it realistic and same because here you can see that it is dark pink right here and just right here it is light pink it is because we have adjusted this layer not these three layers so you can adjust them in camera or filter i'm going to keep it like how it is because this is a tutorial and i cannot do a lot in tutorial add more smoke um add some dots right here also like this to make it more realistic i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to watch my other tutorials and as I told previously, make sure to check out my friend Lifted Designs if you want a free logo or free banner, then make sure to hit him up. Once again, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Have a good day.